Well, I answered, but let's talk about it. I understand concern. So, the reason that we're here is, um, I'm sure you are well aware of all the events um, occurring on Monday. Correct. I am a citizen of the United States, and I understand that we have an unconstitutional Second Amendment asshole governor who is def taking away our rights. Okay, next question. So, the reason that we are here is we got a tip that somebody was coming down to the Capitol, uh, and there was video footage of you at the Capitol, um, walking around the Capitol, which appeared to be checking into structures um, and just seeing, just to getting a general surrounding of the Capitol and seeing what's going on. Um, knocking on pillars, most likely to check densities, who knows. So, <laughs> We got a tip, and we're following up on some leads. So, gentlemen, 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 do you know why I knocked on the damn pillars? I, I don't Tell know. me everything you two know about the pillars on the damn Capitol right now. They've been there for a long time. What else do you know about them? What else? Did They're you trees. They're actually trees. Go do the damn tour. I knocked on them because I'm a builder, and I was interested in the fact that they're trees that were plastered. Okay. Well, I walk the Capitol <clears throat> as a free citizen and mm -hmm. a free man because I'm going to attend the rally okay. and because I want to, for my safety to know the surroundings. That's fine. That's you two are a fine representative of what's going on here now. You have driven over 100 miles to harass a citizen on his front porch in Northumberland County based on a tip which is exactly why the red laws are so well, bad, these red flag laws. It wasn't just a tip, sir. So there are many law enforcement officers present that day and have been for a while. And what they saw was what appeared to be pre-operational planning. And they were what they saw to, was an intelligent American okay. citizen who is situationally aware of the piss poor job that y'all will do with my security. You are disarming me. You're putting me behind a gate. And yet still, as a free man, I'm going to come stand. Do you know what's in my backpack? My backpack will have first aid supplies. It will have a spray bottle. It will have waters a bottle, bottled water, so I can help my fellow citizens when you bastards start spraying us. Sir, we, you are the problem. We're not here to accuse you. Uh, you are not. here, and that is enough to piss me off. This is just communism, socialism, right here, Bubba, right here on our porch. Okay. If you would like, you can contact my supervisor. Friend, I just want to shake your hand and ask you to go the hell off my property. That's what I want to do. I understand. Unless you've got a charge or you've got a warrant or you got some damn suspicion. We're here just to talk to you. That's why we, we have had our conversation. I am going to go to the Capitol on that date and pro and I'm going to lobby, actually, because I'm not protesting. Okay. I'm going to lobby much like I did last Monday, I where I peacefully you. entered there, and you can find the video. I, I understand you don't even want to listen to why I'm here. This is why you I understand why you're here. here, and I'll listen to you. I'll give you a shot here. And again, like we said, we came here on a tip, and we just came here. Who gave you the tip? You. We just came here as, a, as we understand your rights. As a free citizen, we do not have a warrant. You did not tell us to leave yet. We That's are, because I'm a free citizen. I'm not scared of you. I'm a citizen. Don't want you to be I'm not a damn subject, but whenever you people will take a tip. Okay. It's not just a tip, sir. I mean, it, 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 I viewed the video. It was called in by credible law enforcement officers. I viewed the video, and we've seen a lot of pre-operational planning activities at the Capitol. You know as well as anybody else, there are people that want to come there and do harm. We don't know you. We want to come here and talk to you and understand, do you intend to do harm? I don't intend to do anything, and you might want to tell Colonel Settle that the reason that I knew what I was doing, because my father was Captain Bill Wagner, W.R. Wagner State Police. So I'm very aware. I understand. I was raised aware. Then you should understand that this is part of police work, investigating, uh, and just checking yeah, into things. Yeah, uh, come on, and dude. You're, you're, things look, and talking to people. That's what we're here to do. This is frightening. This you? is police state. This is a frightening situation. Sir, this is the police officers doing a job to try to keep people safe. Friend, to try to turn I would appreciate if you good. quit talking to me, and I'm going to ask you to leave. I'd like to continue to speak with this gentleman.
If you feel unsafe, so, I'll be glad to let you pat me down or anything. You want to pat me before we talk? You're how welcome. About, how about this? Is this okay? Is this suitable to you? When that gentleman hits the public road, that's when it's suitable to me. How about when he's on the back side of the blue? No, road? when he hits the public highway and he's off the property and he's okay. standing on the damn public road, just like you'll require me whenever I have to go to the Capitol. I don't conceal carry. I don't even carry, buddy. I don't, the truth is, here's the real truth. Okay. I don't like guns that much. I spent my life on a damn state police firing range every Saturday while the rest of the boys were goddamn playing football. Okay. Let me just be totally honest. I respect your rights. I understand your anger with us being here. I just want you to understand that I'm just here doing my job. I well. perfectly understand that, okay. but you know what the problem is? Yes, sir. The son of a bitches that loaded the Jews into the damn gas chambers, they were doing their job, too. At some point in time, you boys got to quit doing your job and understand that your job is a constitutional officer. You take an oath to uphold the Constitution. Yes. I took an oath to, oath to uphold the Constitution in the Navy. And you want to know something else? They don't tell you to take the oath back when you, when you get your damn honorable discharge. Well, You leave under that oath. Understand. And as of this point, I don't feel like I'm infringing on anybody's Constitution by knocking on someone's door to talk to them. Okay. I feel like you are. I understand that. You could have made a phone call. You son of a bitches know everything, probably including what I had dinner for last night. You, know, you could have made the phone call. Hey, George Wagner, you, you got know, any issues with us? Nah, you, man. You know that's not how investigations are done, okay? And I, like you asked him to leave, and he left at any moment here. And I do not plan on staying here longer, even on my own volition. But well, that's if, fine. You, if you want me to leave, I'll leave as well. Oh, you already yeah. stated that, and I fully appreciated that. Yes. I really did. Okay. And you know what? I was not surprised when, my, when the wife said, hey, Capitol Police at the door. Why I knew why you were here. Why weren't I you knew surprised? exactly what you, why yeah. wasn't I surprised? Yeah. Because we live in sort of, such a police state that a man that walks around a facility like that, so I took pictures. Mm-hmm. I took pictures. How many damn people take pictures at the Capitol? How many pictures people go up and take a panorama of the Capitol and see what the view right. is from the Capitol steps? Right. But, but I had long hair. No. And I looked like a big old rough guy. No. And I looked like some kind of goddamn left, a right winger, whatever these other idiots y'all are arrested. That's no. the problem. You want to know what you look like to me? What's that? You look like a good, good country man, okay? Who and I hear you respect. And I have. No problem with you having your weapons and having your opinions and having you go down there and take pictures. I'm up here because I was instructed to come up here. I fully and understand. Talk to you, okay? So that's what we're here. We just wanted to come up here and see that, see if there's any bad intent, if there's any good intent, just to kind of get your word on what any intent you had being down there. That's all. Friend, I got okay. two artificial hips. I'm scheduled in June to get this one mm -hmm. replaced again after 22 years. Okay. If I'm going to start a fight and kick anybody's ass, they're <laughs> going to have to lay down beside me because I got one leg and it ain't that good. I understand. I understand. And okay. you might have noted that that very dangerous looking man that's brought y'all down here was an old dude walking around with a cane. Dangerous man that brought us. To yeah. Because obviously I'm so dangerous and so and so in fear at the Capitol that the damn governor has instructed you to come down here and investigate this horrible son of a bitch. Sure. Well, here he stands, wet-haired. You've seen his buck ass naked in the goddamn thing, trying to get dressed to come out here and comply. I understand. So, I mean, I'm well, I'll stand and talk to you all day. I would like a card or something from you. This is my wife, Kay. Yes, I met her. What's her name? Oh, you already introduced you to him? Well, she answered the door, yes. Okay. Do you have a card or something so I know who I, was here? I do have a card. And, I and how about a card and something for the other guy? Because I didn't like his approach. He's got a nasty little attitude, and he's the kind of cop that's, that's going to cause the trouble. Yeah. You fellas need to pay particular attention because the real situation is we want to support you. Okay. I'm on your team. I appreciate Guys that. like that. He's a fucking hothead. He's got his little shitty attitude with me. He started with a little shitty attitude. Want to get his back up. Can I? He can will I, cause a problem. Can I ask what you deemed him to be having a shitty attitude? I'm just to me. Yes, you said he that, that he had a shitty attitude. Yes. What What did he do? I'm very aware of police officers. I'm very aware of the stance. You can see the tightness in his jaw. You can see the fact he didn't like me speaking to him as a citizen. 
he obviously felt he wanted to control me. That is the vibe he put off. Understood. You need to educate your guys and spend time for the next 48 hours. The people that are going to be in the street, they're not the problem. I'm going in the lobby. Right. I'm going in peacefully, unarmed, right. just like I did last Monday. Yes. And watch the sorriest circus that God has ever seen. The idiot running that thing, I'd have put a damn kindergartner up there and he'd have done a better job. I understand. They violated Senate rules. They violated our Constitution. They voted stuff on the docket that wasn't on the docket. They took stuff off the docket that was on the docket and invented crap while they were there. I understand. But please remember, the guys you see up there are not your enemy. I, but they can become. I agree. Because you have to figure out what side you're going to stand on. Yeah. You have said you will fucking stand by the Constitution. You'll protect us. Right now, the police, except for that sheriff from Culpeper, and I went to Culpeper High School because mm -hmm. my dad was captain up there. Sure. He's standing up like a true officer and a true Virginian. Now, I know who pays your check, but at some point in time, you've got to figure out whether you honor your morals and your obligation to the people right. are more important to the trash that's been elected up there. All right. Because that is pure criminal garbage that sits in our state house right now. I Let me tell you a little joke, that. and you'll hear it again if I can get up to him. What's that? A racist, a rapist, and a guy in blackface go into a bar. Which one's the sitting governor of Virginia? You tell me. Northam. So, we don't know if he's the racist or the guy in blackface yet because all that's been kind of, you know, poo-pooed. Right. Had it been a Republican that's been co convicted or found, uh, you know, with the public media pressure of what he had done, you fellas couldn't keep the damn demon rats off the goddamn Capitol, let alone out to Broad Street. They'd have closed Virginia down in Richmond. I understand. But if you got nothing else, man, I'd like to go finish having my coffee. I do not have anything else. And I certainly have enjoyed talking to you. And your name again is? Adam Culpa. Adam Culpa.